Good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome back to another Red Fox Outdoors video. Today is going to be another good one for you. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to continue on with a... Um, I know I did the kind of get home bag thing, and I'm going to kind of continue on with that series. So today, we're going to do a kind of bug out slash survival bag. So um, we'll start that in just a minute. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back everybody. <clears throat> All right, so what we're gonna do, like I said, is we're gonna carry on with the um, get home bag, bug out bag, slash survival bag series. So let me get the camera turned around here. <clears throat> uh, but before I do, um, I'm gonna put a little card right up here uh, for the get home bag series. So uh, I'll put that right up there and uh, y'all can watch that. So let me go ahead and get the camera turned around and we'll uh, get started. All right, so I got the camera turned around here. Now, <clears throat> as most of you know, you'll remember this uh, particular bag right here. And if you look up in the top corner here, get that card about this bag for the uh, get home bag. You'll recognize this is the same bag. All I did was is I took and changed the load out on it. So, uh, let me go ahead and set the camera down here. And we'll uh, go ahead and start getting ready to unload the pack. We'll show you what's in it. Alright, so. We're going to start right here with this pouch right here. Alright, so. Here in this front pouch. Got some uh, protein bars, some granola. Um, that way you can have something to kind of eat. And then put some paracord in here. Okay, we got some uh, some duct tape. Probably about uh, maybe 10 feet or so duct tape. And a uh, little tea light candle. Alright, so um, kind of going over the 10 C's of survival here. So um, these are the 10, part of the 10 C's of survival. Alright, so let's go on to the next one. So we got a headlamp. Always good to have. Got a sport just in case. Got a stove with the little Esbit tabs. Small fire kit with a ranger band around it, which you'll remember from the last video. Has the uh, <coughs> fat wood shavings, fat wood, the uh, ferro rod, jute twine, and the striker, which is down below underneath everything. knife for uh, around the uh, like if you're going to be processing any wood or whatever a nice full tang knife this one here was made for me by my brother and you can find his channel called the twisted grain on uh, YouTube or not you tell me in uh, Facebook the twisted grain and then I got a water uh, bladder from Sawyer There's nothing else in here. Alright, in the outside pocket over here, got a Life Straw water filter water bottle. That way you have a container to contain, you got your container to contain water in, you got your filter for filtering the water, and you have an extra pouch for extra water. Alright, next pouch. 
nothing there. All right, middle pouch. All right, so you want a cotton cloth. This is just a bandana. And in here I have a canvas needle or a cell needle as they call it, which is attached to that so I don't lose it or bend it. I've got a first aid kit, which you'll remember from the last video. Mosquitoes are getting bad out here. Let me move this over here so that I can get in front of this thing and hopefully the mosquitoes won't eat me up as bad. All right, next thing you'll want is a little notepad you can keep notes with. Uh, leave somebody a note if you need to. Always good to have. Now we're getting up on winter time and it's always good to have a couple of layers of things. Give me a second here guys, empty. Oh, man. Just getting heat up. I don't have my bug spray with me today. All right, so for winter time, want a nice pair of extra wool socks. And being that it's winter time, there's going to probably be a lot of hunting and stuff like that. So I got a bright orange toque. And then to keep your hands warm, you need a nice pair of warm gloves and I always layer my gloves so I put a thin layer inside and then the thicker layer out and then I got for working around the fire and using firewood and stuff like that decent pair of work gloves and as you can see these have had some wear all right now most of you will remember from my uh, video I'm gonna put a little card right up here in the corner about my little EDC pouch um, so most y'all can go back and watch that y'all can see what's in this and then I've got another kind of a survival pouch here it doesn't have a whole lot in it but I mean it does have a lot but it doesn't have a lot um, all right so in here we got two cigarette lighters, you got a uh, one of these Mylar um, fold-out blankets, an extra knife, some more fat wood for starting a fire with, folding knife, fork, and spoon, some more extra string if you need it. Um, we got some fire tinder to get your fire started again. Got a billows to help you blow on the fire. It's in one of those extended billows. A pair of tweezers. It's got a little light on it, a little LED light built into it. A pair of fingernail clippers. A pair of folding scissors. These are always useful use these a lot and then in here I've got a Israeli bandage and some post-it notes uh, post-it notes are great because you can it's got that little sticky on the back you can put it on a tree uh, kind of show your uh, your path or whatever so there's that so that's all that's in that little pouch there all right, now for the main pouch over here. You want some kind of cover, concealment, way to stay warm. So we got us a wool blanket. For cutting, we got us a folding saw. I'm gonna move the blanket up out of the way here, one second. There, all right. So now we got us a folding saw for processing wood. Um, made by Fiskers folds up goes in your backpack and then for cover and concealment we got a uh, just a rain poncho that can also double as a tarp uh, you, all you do is you just tie the, the little head up in the center of it 
stretch it out like a tarp, tie it down, and you got your cover. And then, last but not least, another way to carry water, to boil your water, to purify it, that kind of thing. Just a little folding cup. It's got the little handles that you fold. You can cook it over a fire. And that's pretty much everything that's in this as a survival pack. The only thing I didn't put in here was the, um, like your survival foods, like your mountain house meals and stuff like that. So uh, if you all want to add that to it, you can add a couple of days of the mountain house meals, which will help. And it will help you to survive at least two to three days. But that's everything that's in the pouch, guys. Um, like I said, I'll put a card up here in the left corner for the EDC pouch. I will also put a card up here for the get home bag and we'll continue this series. So I hope y'all found this useful. Uh, you can always add, like I said, a, one of those like freeze dried mountain house mills. You can add a couple of those in here to add for a couple of days. Uh, just for this here, mainly it's just a bug out to help you get from point A to point B. Uh, that way you've got a way to carry water, a way to filter it, a way to cleanse it and that kind of stuff. So I hope that helps guys. And uh, if y'all have any more questions, concerns, things you might want to add, put it down in the comments down below for me and uh, I'll be glad to hear from you. Till next time, I've been Red Fox of Red Fox Outdoors. Have a good one and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.